about this stuff right here. Police had carefully routed and protected the entrance of perhaps 30 white nationalists for a rally that started an hour later than planned. Of uh, keeping uh, the two groups separated, and that'll be the that'll be the challenge. That is the objective to keep the two groups from coming together. Run! Hundreds of noisy protesters began gathering hours earlier, separated by two barricades from the neo-Nazis inside a city park downtown. We stand here today on behalf of the white race here in America. Wanna... We've got a little technical difficulties. They targeted Jews, gays, immigrants, and liberals. Time's up! All to the people! All to the people! I can't understand you. You've got to do better. What? What? We've been able to take our message a lot more mainstream, and we are trying to uh, appeal and reach more people. I think it's a political landscape in this country. You need to face the fact that Western civilization is white civilization. If the resurgence of white nationalism coincided with the candidacy of Donald Trump, these white nationalists weren't really having much of it. I, I don't think um, Trump is doing us any favors. He really needs to uh, step it up. A couple notches because sort of he is doing the job, but he's not doing it fast enough. America. Hail victory! And God save the South! With their permitted time expiring, the rally concluded after authorities cut power to their loudspeaker. Then the 30 or so neo Nazis slipped quietly out of downtown, again with the help of hundreds of police. In Noonan, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. Meanwhile,